Cavalier, AthleteNext.com. Today I'm going to show you how to blast through the sticking point on your bench press and how to get stronger there because you are a hell of a lot stronger than you ever thought you were on this exercise. I can guarantee you that. From here to here, you're probably a beast. From here to here, you're probably a beauty. But I will tell you, it can be fixed. It can be fixed because you can address the two big issues that you're having here. One is the utmost level of strength that you have from here to here, and mostly it's going to be applied to your chest in that range of motion. And secondly, your ability to explode and uh, create velocity in that range of motion is probably pretty poor. Because a bar that's not in motion is a bar that's going nowhere. As soon as you lose complete velocity of that bar and it reaches zero, you're likely not getting it up for another rep. So what do we do? We have a 555 protocol that we use. And the idea here is you're going to load up the bar as heavy as you can and get it down, set on the pins in that bottom portion, that sticking range, that sticking point range of the exercise. Now, the idea is that you're not going to be able to push this bar anywhere. We're going to perform something called an overcoming isometric that will allow you to recruit as many motor units as you can to assist the contraction, but not be able to move it. Obviously, isometric. It's not going to go anywhere. You're going to push as hard as you can for the first five seconds to be able to recruit as many motor units as possible. Then for the next five seconds, you're going to now maximally push as hard as you can. You want to try to push this bar through the roof, but it ain't going nowhere. But don't worry, good things are happening. After that, you're going to take a five second rest. This whole 15 second protocol, you repeat 10 times. Now, if you don't have pins, but you're bench pressing at home, you just don't have pins or a rack at home to bench press in, don't worry about it. Just stand up as soon as you're done, head over to the wall, apply the same principles you would in any good bench press. Elbows tucked, 45 degrees pushing through, not leaning your torso in, but actually pushing with the hands into the wall so you can engage your chest. As soon as you're done, whichever method you use, you come back to the bench press, strip off down to 50% of your one rep max. Now we have to work on that velocity. And you're going to perform explosive reps in the bottom one third range of the motion. Now, I'm not just talking about performing reps, explosive reps. We're trying to accelerate every single rep of that bar off my chest in that bottom range of motion. You go until you can't either accelerate anymore, until it's starting to move slow, or of course until you reach failure. This entire protocol can be done three times through each time you train your chest. But guys, as always, the secret is this. You got to do it and put in the work if you want to see the changes from it. But I can guarantee you this, fast changes lie ahead of you if you do, because this area here has been waiting for you to address this area here. Guys, if you're looking for more training protocols and things that you can do and have me coach you through every single workout, Every single meal, every single exercise and technique, I'm happy to do it, guys. In our Athlinex training program, I literally coach you through every single one of our workouts and training days. And, I, and it's, it's my pleasure because I feel like I can actually give you some of the most advanced training techniques I have because I feel like I know what it is that you need to get you to where you want to be. You can get that over at athlinex.com. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below. Tell me what else you want to see. I know there's other exercises here you want me to cover in the sticking range and how to get through them. I'll do that for you. Just let me know in the comments below whatever else you want to see on this channel too, of course. I'll do my best to do that in the days ahead. All right, I'll see you soon.